Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Dexter DX7.5L drum brake actuator for a 2 inch hitch ball. It has a 7,500 pound weight capacity. Now you can use this actuator to synchronize your trailer brakes with your tow vehicle brakes. This hydraulic actuator will activate your trailer brakes when the tow vehicle slows or stops. Basically what happens is when you apply the brakes in your tow vehicle, deceleration will occur and the momentum will push your trailer toward the rear of your vehicle. So with the surge brake system, the actuator itself is triggered as your trailer moves forward while the tow vehicle slows. This actuator, or the inner slide portion here, will telescope in, which applies force to the master cylinder, which in turn supplies the necessary hydraulic pressure to engage your trailer's brakes. If you notice on this one, it has the nice low profile coupler latch to ensure easy, secure connection. It does use a nice over the center latch mechanism, which will only engage when the actuator is fully seated on a two inch hitch ball. I do want to demonstrate that. I happen to pull a two inch hitch ball. So basically what you want to do, <clears throat> is you'll see the safety pin right here. You just pull out this safety pin and that'll release the latch to be open. And then right up at the top here, you'll see this little round latch. You just move that, it's spring loaded. So you, as you push that, that releases it. And then you can lift up on the latch. Just like that, now you're ready to install. So there's your two inch hitch ball. You can see, so drop right in place of that, push down on your latch and it automatically lock it into place. And then for extra security, you put this safety pin through there and what that does is it keeps that latch from opening even if something happens to move this lever the latch won't fully open it'll still stay connected to the hitch ball so nice safety feature and then when you're ready to disconnect pull out your safety pin just move the latch over and it opens up and you can remove right off the hitch ball so it is a very s simple installation and removal <clears throat> You notice also here it does include this breakaway cable. Now the master cylinder, which is on the inside here, it is constructed of aluminum rather than plastic. Turn it over, I don't know if you can see much of it, it is protected, but here's the end of it. So the aluminum is a lot better than the plastic or steel, gives you increased strength and corrosion resistance. And if you notice on the top, the brake filler cap right here is nice and flush, so it doesn't stick up so something could damage it, so this one's nice and flush. This is a nice zinc plating, offers excellent corrosion resistance. It is designed for marine applications. If you notice on the back here, the holes, it is a bolt-on installation. It is designed to fit onto three, three inch by four inch straight tongue trailers. This part is made in the USA. Few specs again, this is designed for hydraulic drum brakes. Again, the ball size it fits is a two inch diameter hitch ball. Weight capacity, 7,500 pounds. One last note I do want to mention on this actuator. Because this model does not include a reverse lockout, it is recommended that you equip your trailer with free backing brakes so that you can drive in reverse without triggering your trailer brakes. But that should do it for the review on this Dexter DX7.5L drum brake actuator for a 2-inch hitch ball and has a 7,500 pound weight capacity.